everybody. Welcome aboard. I'm Don. Welcome back. If you've been here before, which most of you have, I'm doing a gift request. Montauk Ed, shout out to you, my friend. Every so often, I got to put the outfit on. And uh, I was just outside a little bit ago doing yoga. I'm here in Jersey. It's 53 degrees out, so it was warm enough to do it. I mean, it gets a little chilly and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm wearing my sunshiny Montauk Ed outfit. Ed made a gift, Montauk Ed, let's go there. Montauk Ed made a gift to the channel for me to do Tammy Wynette's song, Unwed Fathers. I don't know where this is going. I don't know the angle that she's going to come from or go to. You try to figure it out by the song title. I do anyway. Maybe it's an occupational hazard. But we're going to let Tammy clear this whole thing up. Here we go. <laughs> In an Appalachian Greyhound station She sat there waiting In a family way ah. Goodbye brother Tell mom I love her Tell all the others I'll write someday From teenage love Like some bad dream. They sent her away. But unwed fathers can't be bothered. They'll run like water through a mountain stream. In a cold and gray town, a nurse has laid. This ain't no playground, and this ain't home. Someone's children, having children, in an old gray building, all alone. From teenage lover to unwed mother, kept undercover. She holds her baby, yep. says I think, well, maybe you got your daddy's eyes from teenage love. All right, there's the trade-off, though, as hard as it is. The mom, even though it's hard and has the responsibility of taking care of the kids, she's going to get the joy of being with that child. All right, let's we'll go to the end of the song. But that's definitely, a, you know, that snippet of life there. And they're, these are teenagers here. Sounds like the family sent her away so she could have the baby. Because they, they well, I love that expression. She's in a family way. And the girl said, tell mom this and that. And maybe she just left of her own volition when she found out she was pregnant. But she had the baby. And the impetus of the song here is that the fathers don't, you know, the younger fathers, they could just go do what they want. They could go play you know, carefree in a mountain stream, no big whoop, while she's giving birth and, and going through the challenges of raising the child. The continuation of that story is that the mom 
gets to enjoy the fact that she was a mom. She gets to enjoy her child. And the guy may have guilt, but he won't get the joy of being with the baby that's got his DNA. But that's the nature of it. I mean, you get into like, all right, premarital sex. Like one of the things about that from the practical side of being married, one of the surest ways of remaining poor is to have babies out of wedlock. And I'm not preaching. I'm just saying factually. I mean, you could just look at it. When you've got two people in the household raising a child, it's a whole lot easier than two separate households and someone raising a child. But it's... Yeah. there's so many parts of life that are hard um and yeah i mean we live by the consequences are cut the con of our choices and some consequences are more serious than others like uh, george michaels had a song in one of his songs i think it was freedom where he says some mistakes were built to last and i've always held on to that line i love that line because some mistakes are built to last whether you consider this a mistake or not, like I know people who have gotten absolutely livid when they found out that a younger family member got pregnant and not married, nothing, and livid, just wanted to disown the girl and all this stuff. But they didn't. They got over the anger. And then when the, and I've seen this so many times. When that baby is born, all is forgiven. It's like, oh, it doesn't matter how this happened. And... That's the experience that the mom, and if she's able to stay with the family, is able to experience, whereas the guy isn't. But, all right, Ed, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you sure put some songs to me, man. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, when I saw it was you and unwed fathers, usually it's unwed mothers, and it can be like a preachy song or what I don't, could go anyway. But now I'm like, unwed fathers? All righty then, and here we have it. All right, I'm going to rate that. I love the way she sang that. She she had a sensitivity, a delicacy. It just Tammy's Tammy. But even the instrumentation what was appropriate for the song, if you will. I didn't there was no uh conflict within me hearing what I was hearing. So, for what she was going for, and of course, I think I could write at least a chapter of a book and probably more on this very topic from multiple vantage points, not right or wrong, but just presenting a fuller picture. What, what she was going for, um, coming in with a 9.1. It was a captivating song. And I love that lyric about through a what, crystal mountain stream or something where he could go running through that. That kind of paints an image where she's in a dank gray building room on her own and he could be out you know he'll just go out running in the mountain stream maybe fishing maybe doing whatever and they're a crystal clear mountain stream type of thing so montauk ed thank you my friend i hope you're well i mean you've popped into my mind a number of times in the last couple of weeks so i hope things are going well for you have a great day i'll see you in another video folks and keep rocking a country